Thank you, Ryan. Well, there's nothing like the smell of fresh bread in the kitchen, so why not make some bread for your holiday party? Or like the morning, you can have some delicious warm bread Christmas morning. This morning, we're making the traditional Italian Christmas bread called panettone. Now, it normally has about 310 calories per slice, but we're cutting it down to 199. Chef Kelly York from the Kitchen Hotline is here to show us how. Good morning. Good morning. And you put um, cheese That's on it. That's uh, mascarpone cheese with a little bit of uh, marsala wine mixed in. It mm. uh, makes it really good. It makes a great uh, French toast afterwards if you have any leftovers. I was skeptical if you have leftovers. because it sounded like um, fruit cake. A a little bit, no, but I no, just no. tried it and it's yeah. delicious. Yeah, it's, a, it's a less sweet, it's not a real sweet bread, but it's just sweet enough. Anyway, to make it, we're going to make it a little bit easier. Panettone traditionally takes like days to make. You have to start with a starter or a bigger um, uh, yeast blend, oh. and that's why people like to buy it. It's also very expensive to buy. So making it home, you get it fresher, you can make different flavors, and it's fun. Great. So we're going to make it using a bread machine, but you can also use a standing bowl mixer. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take three fourths a cup of almond milk, and there's a fourth a cup milk cut into that as well. And then you're going to add your eggs, which is about a third a cup of egg beaters. Um, we also have a tablespoon of barley malt syrup. You can I also use that. diastatic malt powder. That's going to help the yeast because we're using a heavier grained um, flour. We're okay. using a whole barley white malt flour. syrup. Yeah, and that helps with your yeast. This is a, a, a three tablespoons of butter and a, tea, a half a teaspoon of lemon zest. And we add some orange extract as well. You can also add a little vanilla is good too. We're going to take our flour, which is three cups of a whole wheat white flour. We've also added one cup of um, of uh, gluten, uh, uh, vital uh, gluten powder. That's also going to help give your bread a little more rise since we're using a heavier, more grainier, higher in um, dietary fiber uh, powder. Then you're going to add your spices. Now, if you, the reason we're layering this for a bread machine is so that if you want to let it sit a couple hours before you start a delayed reaction, you don't want the yeast to be in contact with the liquids and start uh, rising on you. Oh. We're also adding turmeric powder, ginger powder. There's a little bit of salt in there also to help the yeast. Okay. And then we add about two and a quarter teaspoons of uh, active dry yeast. We like the Hodgkin's Mills because it's good for a heavier grained um, whole wheat flour. Sounds good. Put that in your bread maker and let and set it for a sweet dough and a light crust. Uh, you don't really want it to sweet rise. Dough, you light want crust. It to when do you add the fruit? The fruit is going to happen when you get the beep on the machine. Okay. Now, if you're using a standing mixer, you can throw it all together. Putting the fruit in, uh, in the beginning will beat it up a little bit, but I find that it really doesn't break it up enough so that you can't see it in the, in the bread. You let that go. It takes about a half hour to do the, de the dough cycle okay. in the machine. Then um, you're going to take it out. You're going to put it in a, a grease dough or a grease bowl. And let it raise for about two hours. Okay. Then punch it down and stick it in your refrigerator overnight. Okay. That's been one rise. In the refrigerator, it's going to kind of do a second rise. And then we put it in here again? No, you're going no. to then put it in the panettone wrapper. You can okay. even use a mold. And how These, long? The, uh, th this is going to take about another 45 minutes to an hour and a half to okay. double. Oh, it wow. might take a little longer depending Sheesh. on what altitude you're at. Yes. Chef Kelly. I know. It's, it's, that's why people like to buy it. But, okay. I and think believe that me, you've this convinced is, me to buy it. This is a simplified, but that's okay. the last step. Then okay. You're gonna, now, the, these wrappers you can buy at Sur La Table right. or you can get them online. Put that in there, let it raise, and then bake it. For how long? What? It takes about an hour. Okay. And it's 35, 350 degrees. I'm so out of time. She's yelling <laughs> in my ear. For the recipe and the full details on the whole process, go to kwgn.com. If you have questions about how to make your foods healthier, you can give the Kitchen Hotline a call between noon and 4 today. That number, 877-773-8485, or go to our website for more details. Thanks, Kelly. Mm -hmm. And there you see the number for the Kitchen Hotline. With the holidays just around the corner, this morning we're trying to get in the holiday spirit. So we